I've suffered far more than you have. Far more. The amount of pain and anguish and depression and deprivation and uh, trauma that I've suffered in my life would break ten of you. Okay, you you just you would never make it in my shoes. Um, my life has been one long nightmare, and it still is. Therefore, I have the right to denounce you, to say that your creation of life itself is what has put me in this situation. I have the right to call you all kinds of horrible names, to insinuate that you are a cruel person, a heartless person, a monster, um, a Dr. Frankenstein, all kinds of things. Why? Because your careless, thoughtless, selfish acts have resulted in situations like the one I find myself in. I challenge anyone to disprove anything that I've said. The only way you could possibly disprove anything I have said is by experiencing what I have experienced. You might think that on the surface of it I've had a fairly good life. I've, I'm happily married. I own my own house. I own my car. I get to travel the world. I've never faced hunger. Um, I live in a peaceful country, an extremely peaceful country. I live about as far away from the next nuclear strike as it's possible to be on this planet, if such a thing should ever happen. <laughs> um, but you, you, you can't begin to fathom the agony that I have felt all my life and continue to feel. The challenge, again, is for someone to dispute what I have just said and give me enough evidence to convince me otherwise. There is no such evidence. I may have been living in room 101 for the last 49 years. There's no agony detector out there to judge what the experience of my own life has been. I'm often stopped, sort of cold as it were, or struck dumb in fascination by the thought that it's entirely possible that I have had the very worst that life has to offer. Conversely, <laughs> I may have had the very best. I'm completely at sea in this manner. I don't have any way of judging my own suffering, at least as compared to that of someone else. To judge someone else's suffering, someone else's experience of the negative state is not something that we are equipped to do, because we, we would have to then put ourselves on the receiving end of someone else's experiences, including the inner interpretation that they put on such experiences, which may very well be 99.9% .9 projection or interpretation. As I mentioned in my in the comments section of a previous video, room 101, which is the ultimate torture chamber, the worst thing in the world, could be some horrific atrocity visited upon somebody in terms of the usual physical tortures or mental anguish experiments. Um, involving cruelty to yourself or having to watch someone you love have atrocity visited upon them. Could be those. To other people, room 101 might simply be sitting in an empty room with nothing to do. <laughs> that might be unendurable for that person. I know a few people like that. So... <laughs> What's in room 101? It's the worst thing in the world. 
what might that be? <laughs> Interesting question, isn't it? Is there an answer to it? Or at least, is there one answer? If only reality were that convenient. <laughs>